But I think from what um, would benefit us just now is, and I don't know if the Scottish Parliament have the power to do this, I think it's a, is it a reserve matter for down south, we should nationalise gas and electricity like other countries have, yeah. where it would benefit the people more than big private business companies. Um, and, the, you know, the, the profits, as I said, this recession is not because of people. This recession is because of inflation due to Correct. ridiculous Correct. And, the, and, and, and the recession, I mean, there's enough experienced financiers around. You've got the governor of the Bank of England there. You've got uh, chancellors of the Exchequer. There's enough experience around to know how to deal properly. The finance is doing well. The stock market's doing well. The shares are doing uh, well. Uh, build, um, you know, businesses are making billions of pounds in profit. So what we now need to is to start to redistribute the wealth to the people. Yes. The people well, who have paid their tax, that, which makes all these places successful. These companies don't want that, though. But if you think about it, if, if what keeps them going to me is pure greed, that here, in, I mean, if you look at the quarter, we've just passed the quarter, and it is a record amounts of profit. You know, a business every year they need to make more and more and more. If they make the same, or heaven forbid, slightly less. That is seen as not a successful year, despite the fact that it's vast profit, you know, they're well over break even. Yeah, but um, then you see, Karim, what we've got here, let's look at the absolute obvious. Yeah? Yes. And the people of Scotland should be almost having free energy. We've got hydroelectric, we've got wind power, we've got wave yes. power, we've got yes. heat, we've got coal, we've got oil, we've got gas. So really, why on earth are we selling our energy to Westminster for 12.5p a kilowatt hour and, uh, you know, buying it back to ourselves at 35p a kilowatt hour? You know, what, what's going on? Who's in charge here? Yeah. This yeah. is a conversation. Yeah, I, I, I totally agree with you, Scotty, but... Sadly to say, this too, I've said this last week to you, or during the week, there's too many people still believe in us and we're, we're better together. Well, well no, uh, we've never said, been better together in 313 years. The union uh, is built on sand. It was built yeah. on skullduggery and jiggery pokery, unfortunately by the monarch at the time. And the uh, nobles fell for it and took a bribe. Then King William had also pulled his money out, the Darien scheme or the Darien scheme, however you want to, uh, and that failed Scotland and there was famine. But the important point is Scotland had to seriously, seriously, seriously devalue its economy to integrate with the English economy. And that's yeah. the point that people miss. So there was no reason for the union. The union was then supposed to be a union of equals, in which case Ms. Truss would never, ever, ever have dared to disrespect the leader of Scotland. Yeah. I, I think, Scotty, I've said this before for the people up here, we are a country that...